Welcome! This tutorial is designed to help you learn how to use our Add a Station tool at electric.carstations.com. What we're looking at here is the main page, a map of all the different stations that have been added by volunteers just like yourself. I'm zooming in on California, and uh, there we go. I found a station that I'm interested in learning more about. Now, at the top of this page, there's the Add a Station button. And if we visit this particular page or any page on the site, there it is again, Add a Station. So what we're going to do is click that button, and we arrive at this page, which is where you may be viewing the video right now. It's the Add a Station page. Uh, at the top, there's a little blurb that says, don't worry about you know, filling in all the details if you don't have them, because this page can be edited later using a very similar process. So I'm putting in my name, Court Rye, my email address, a website link, and now we're going to get started. So I happen to know that there is an electric vehicle charging station, actually several, at the Google headquarters in Northern California. So I'm typing in a descriptive title, Googleplex Solar Mountain View, because Google has several headquarters and I don't want people to get confused about which one I'm talking about. Now, I scrolled down a little bit after I entered the title and I was looking at charging technologies here at the uh, level one and I didn't know what NEMA 5 was, so I clicked that little question mark link, and here we are again, small paddle inductive. I don't know what that means, so I'm clicking the question mark, and we've got pages here designed to visually and descriptively teach you about which technology this is, so you can be certain. I entered the number of each in there, I put 5 NEMA, 5 small paddle, and then I, I added a little note here for other charging technology. It says, solar trees. I continued down to charging station brand, and uh, small paddle inductive is actually magna charge, so I put five. So I match the number of technologies with the number of brands. So now here we are down a little bit further on the map, and this is a really interesting tool that we've got here. You can see I was dragging that marker around, and as I did so, the GPS coordinates changed. Now watch what I do when I what, watch what happens when I add an address above. I'm typing it in, and when I click out of this box, boom, the map auto refreshes, and it brings me right to where I want to be. So I continue filling it in, Mountain View, California. There's no province because this isn't in Europe. I put United States, zip code, fill that in, and, uh, and then the phone number. And that'll help people who may be headed to this location. They can get in touch with the charging facility, figure out the hours or any other details that might have been missed. So here I am zooming around the map. You can see Google has tons of solar panels on their roof. But this this particular spot, that's where the electric vehicle chargers are. So I'm dragging it and again as I do that you can see below the latitude and longitude are auto updating. So that's really important. It helps people identify where at a facility they should go in order to charge. Now the thing about the Googleplex headquarters um, or any Google campus is that you can't charge unless you're an employee and I think that that's an important note. So here I am adding it. I say you know Google headquarters has many electric vehicle chargers but they're for employee use only. And you know, I could go on to say on the first floor of lot A, building 150, right across from the cafe. And you know, by the way, there's a great cafe here. You should check it out. They have organic food. A anything like that. Anything that might help people um, to learn more about this station. So now we're actually on a completely separate website. But this this website right here, Solar Power Authority, they've got a cool video of the construction of this charging station. You can see it right there, kind of going by. Um, all the different solar panels being put in. I think this is pretty interesting. This is sort of a primary source of information. So what I'm going to do is go up here to uh, the URL. There we go. And I'm see I'm copying it right there. Copy. And now I'm pasting it into the references area. Now this is important so people can go back and continue to learn more about this station. Okay, so now I'm at the image upload section, step three. I clicked on the browse button. I'm looking for the image. There it is. I say open and it puts it right there. I'm adding a, a second image. Yep, there it is. And finally a third image. So the more images the better. And these are all very descriptively named. I made sure I named them before I uploaded them just to help people. And now this is a key here. I click upload now. You have to upload the images before you submit the station otherwise they won't be attached. So there we go. I clicked it and it said we're all good. Now I'm getting ready to put a captcha in but see, I didn't, I didn't like that one, and I don't like this one either, so I'm hitting the little refresh button until I get one that is clear to me. And I'm typing in the, the reCAPTCHA code, and I hit Submit Station, and there we go. I get a little heads up. It says your submission has been added, 
and a little thank you over on the right. Uh, again, thank you for your time, and we look forward to seeing your stations. And if for any reason you have trouble using the map tool, try using a different browser. Make sure you have JavaScript enabled, and look for the little tips we've got on that page about how to get GPS coordinates from other tools online. Good luck, and thanks.